we're gonna do a, a running workout. Ideally, this workout would be done on the track because you have the distances already marked out for you, 100 meters and 200 meters. We have a couple of cones and all you really need is place markers. So you can use anything from a water bottle to just a shirt on the ground. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna look at about 100 meters. So we've set our first cone here and that's the starting line and we're gonna go about 100 meters. For me, I'm gonna consider that about 105 steps, 110 steps, somewhere between there. So nice big long steps to count out meters. What we're going to do from there is we're gonna run the first 100 meters in an assigned amount of time. Let's say for me it's gonna be 30 seconds. So I'm going to run 100 meters in 30 seconds, which is going to feel kind of like a jog. After we've gone the first time through, we're going to set the cone another 10 meters in front, and we'll do that in 31 seconds. We'll jog back, start, we'll set the cone first to 20 meters, jog back, and repeat. Basically every time you set the cone forward one 10 meters, you're going to add one second. So at the end, you'll be running 200 meters in 40 seconds. And again, remember the jog back to the starting line is really the only recovery that you have. Make sure not to take too much time. Try not to walk back if you can. Keep the, keep the uh, workout moving from start to finish. So we've set our cones about 100 meters apart. Uh, as you see uh, from the distance of these cones, uh, we're going to have a hard time making double that distance uh, on this field. It's kind of why we were saying earlier why I was mentioning that you really want to try to do this on a track if at all possible. But if you can't, finding some gradual uh, or very as flat as possible terrain to execute this is definitely the way to go. So we just ran our first uh, stretch in 30 seconds, first 100 meters. Now what we're going to do is we're going to replace the cone. Uh, now the cone's been replaced to 110 meters. We'll jog back and redo this our next time through in 31 seconds. We'll reset the cone again 10 meters and do it jog back and then in 32 seconds. All this is going to do is so we're adding one second, allotting ourselves one second to cover 10 extra meters. As you can tell, that first one, that was pretty easy, a pretty nice jog. We'll get into three, four, five of these, and toward the end, you'll definitely see your heart rate will come up. This is a really good workout, especially if you keep the recovery to a nice jog and then keep that time frame to a pretty, pretty small, to a minimum. I used to like to do this workout after a long warm up and have a nice long cool down built into it. Sometimes you can even, you could consider put jumping on the bike or skiing a little bit, roller skiing after. Just enjoy it, have fun.